Alexa Grasso, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm great. And you? Oh, you know me, hanging out, doing the job, the usual. How's training coming along? How's the weight cut? Give us some details. Tell us, tell us what's going on here. Yeah, well, preparation is going really well. I train it um, at Puebla City, which is high altitude. A lot of jiu-jitsu because um, she's a jiu-jitsu black belt. And then I just go back home uh, to continue with my striking training. And yeah, everything seems good. And this fight was scheduled. Wickets are amazing. (laughs) At flyweight, (laughs) this is a good point. (laughs) I was going to say you're undefeated since switching to flyweight. Tell us a little bit more. How much better does that feel on the body? Is it much easier in training as well? Because I assume dieting months out is much better as well at this point. Is that right? Yes. I mean, when I I was 25, 26, I felt like my body changed, you know, like, 100% 100% like um, female women <laughs> body. And yeah, right now, I think it was um, the smartest decision. Of course, I am super focused on training right now. My body is, um, is perfect at this, at this new weight class. Oh, that is wonderful to hear. You know, you're going to be fighting Vivian Araujo. This was actually booked for earlier this year. Did this change the game plan at all? Or is it kind of business as usual? This is what you expected. No, I mean... She's um, what, like every fighter has their own style. We know that first round striking, then she grapples, then she do takedowns. She does takedowns, and so yeah, we're prepared for that. Um, I think this is a really nice matchup for both of us. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now I know this is the question that everyone's going to ask you in every interview. And I know you're sick of it, but we have to ask: Is Valentina Shevchenko the next fight at, for you after this one? Honestly, I, I don't know, because there's another fight we have to wait between Caitlin Chikagan and Manu Firot, who has, who has already four, row, four wins in a row. So if she got her fifth, I don't know, you know, it, it, it could also depend who does this better. <laughs> <laughs> you're so polite, because every other fighter is like, no, I want the champion, I want the champion tomorrow. And you're like, no, I think Manon has actually maybe earned it. <laughs> do you want to fight with Manon no. or the winner? So where, where do you sit in that? Like, there's a few at the top. Where do you sit in that scenario, do you imagine? It's because, you know, I'm new in this, in, in, in this new division. I also know that it has, you know, uh, it has places. I just have three fights here. So, yeah, whatever it is next to me, I I will be ready for that. That's for sure. If they say another fight, I'll do it. If they say, okay, Alexa, the championship, I'll do it, you know? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Now, uh, you never trash talk your opponents. You're extremely respectful to your opponents and other (laughs) contemporaries in that division. Have you ever thought of switching to a trash talking style like a Connor or a Patty the Batty? (laughs) No way. I mean, that's not my. Um, not even my personality, you know, I can't do that. I know that sometimes it's, this is a um, act, <laughs> you know, yeah. kind of fake, kind of fake, but I don't know. I just respect so much my job because I know how we afford and how tough this is. So to have an opponent who's doing the same than that me, I know all the hard work that she's doing. I know all what she requires to be there. I know the toughness here, the toughness in here also. So no, I just have a lot of respect for my opponents because they also make me better, you know, training harder and being smarter for them. Um, you know, I'm just thankful to share the octagon with amazing girls and tough girls. <laughs> Well, you are certainly living up to your idol, George St. Pierre. He was always respectful in trash talk as well. And you're very much following in those same footsteps. How much of a compliment is that to you? It's great. You know, he's a, an example for me, a big role model. I want to be that in Mexico. Absolutely. Really growing the sport there like George did in Canada. Now, we only have a couple minutes left, so we're going to do some rapid fire questions for you. A lot of fighters have signature brands like signature tequilas, signature whiskeys. If there was an Alexa Grasso signature brand, what would that brand be? Well, I just started a new project. (laughs) I have this new protein bars, Alexa Grasso, which I love protein bars, you know, but sometimes it has a lot of ingredients that I, I 
I read Lavelle and I'm like, oh, but it has this, 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 but it's like, okay, but it has protein. I can eat it sometimes, but not much. So after training, I really need something that fits me and that it's um, good for my body. So I started a year ago with a company doing a new protein bar. And finally, we have the, the yeah, the, the perfect receipt. So I just started that. I think that having something to share with the world that I also eat that I know that is good for them. It's cool. It feels amazing. <laughs> That's wonderful to hear. What was the name? Where can we find it on shelves? When can I expect to see it at my local 7-Eleven? Tell me everything about this. Well, right now it's in Mexico, just in Mexico, unfortunately. But we are expecting a big sale. In Mexico, it's going well. But soon, I hope it can be in the U.S. and all over the world. Okay, just give me, just give me a little more time. <laughs> <laughs> so next year that will be everywhere and people keep asking and I keep seeing it all over Instagram tell me a little bit more about what steak is because people keep asking me about what's going on here what is about steak yeah oh I mean this is a perfect perfect place so you can bet this is safe it's partnered with the UFC and it's a nice place to do your best you know you can also pick your best athletes at any sport it has a lot of sports Oh, that is wonderful to hear. And I, I think we're running out of time here. So you talk us out of here. Where can the people find more of you? Shout out who you need to shout out. All that good, good stuff. You go ahead. Well, I'm um, UFC fighter from Mexico. <laughs> My name is Alexa. <laughs> you can find me on you know, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Just Alexa Grasso. <laughs> wonderful. Oh, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And best of luck in the upcoming fight. Thank you so much. Don't miss it.